What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Real Talk and today we have another review for you guys and that's for the 2015 film The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Take a look. We'll leave you to the get acquainted. Napoleon Soul. The CIA's most effective agent. Ilya Kuriaki. KGB, the youngest man to join in their best within three years. America is teaming up with Russia. Things could get a little messy. All right, guys. So the film stars Henry Cavill, uh, Army Hammer, Alicia Vikander, and is obviously directed by Guy Ritchie. And I wanted to review the film in the spirit of his newest movie coming out, uh, King Arthur: Legend of the Sword. And uh, I was I was interested in watching this movie also for Henry Cavill. I haven't really um, seen him act in anything else other than you know Man of Steel and stuff like that, Batman v Superman. Uh, I might have seen him in I think he came out in Immortals. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I want to see him act in like this specific like genre, you know, like spy and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, um, I wanted to see him um, act in this movie. I also liked seeing Army Hammer right there, possibly Green Lantern, Superman, Green Lantern. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that as well. Alicia Vikander was really good as well. I always like uh, seeing her pop up in different movies. Um, so other than the cast, let's get to the actual film, the actual story. Um, as far as the story, I mean, it could have been... A little bit better as it was the same old shtick you know like the spies you know having to work together you know stop this bomb and stuff like that but i guess in the spirit of the tv show i think it was pretty cool um again it was adapted from the tv show it was pretty cool to ha kind of have like one of those aspects like brought into this modern you know take of it uh, even though it does take place back i think around world war ii or i think the end of world war ii um so yeah starting with the action uh, um it doesn't stop like literally from the the title sequence you start bam 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 like it's not non-stop action but like it gets you right into the story right into the action to these characters and then doesn't stop from there um as far as the humor goes i thought it was pretty funny i, I liked um henry cavill's character you know kind of messing around with uh, army hammer's character you know kind of you know that whole like american versus russian stuff like that kgb versus the uh, cia and stuff like that so it was cool um there's this one moment in particular uh it doesn't involve any spoilers again but like henry cavill's just you know okay i'm gonna go to sleep and then he goes on to this mission and like He's, you know, trying to get through this gate, whatever. And then he looks over, he's like, wait a minute. And it's like Ar Army Hammer's character. It's like, he's like, what the heck? Like, I don't know. It's just like little things like that. I think it's uh, credit to Guy Ritchie's direction. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, I mean, like I said, I like the chem... Uh, well, let me touch on the chemistry. I really like the chemistry between those two guys. Like, it was really cool to see them, like, interact. And I think this is going off for what I just said, but kudos to that. And I also thought the score was really good too. I found myself catching the score, like noticing the score, not in a bad way either, but uh, like, I was like, okay, cool, that's getting me into the action or getting me into this moment, stuff like that. And uh, I really appreciate it for that. Uh, other than that, guys, I mean, I like the directing. Um, Guy Ritchie, you know, definitely you can tell that this is a Guy Ritchie film. It has all his, you know, stylistic things in this film as well too, and it's not in a bad way again. Um, you know, I like the acting. The acting is really good from both of them. I know that they get a lot of slack and stuff like that, especially Army Hammer. Poor him. Uh, not because they're in bad movies. That means they're bad actors. <laughs> um, but uh, great acting. The action was really good. I like the humor, even though it kind of fell short sometimes. You know, it kind of didn't land with me 100% of the time. Um, but yeah, what can I say? I really like this film. Uh, I'm actually, I really hope they do a sequel. I want to see these guys back together. Their chemistry is really what... Um, made the movie, I think, for me, other than Guy Ritchie's directing it. Um, again, the story could have been a little bit better for me. Uh, Alicia Vikander was really good. Obviously, she's always really good. So I think out of 10, I gotta say I give this movie a 7 out of 10. Um, and I know, oh my god, it's not an 8, it's not a, you know. But I mean, I really like this one. My, for me, a 7 is really high too. Uh, so yeah, guys, tell me uh, what you guys think about the movie. Uh, do you guys agree with my rating or not? Uh, tell me if you guys like Guy Ritchie. You guys looking for uh, for King Arthur? You know I am. I expect a review off that. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, as always, though, you guys can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the Real Talk Talk with Two Ks. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, I'll see you at the movies. Peace.